All right, there's footage of Isaiah Thomas on the Arsenio Hall show, and I'll put the link in the description. Basically giving Michael Jordan his props. Let's talk about it. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon button. Excuse me, scared, uh, share the video. And basically he was saying, I'm oh, sorry. Excuse me, Irvin. But, um, you know, Air Jordan, he does things that, you know, I ain't never seen. And he said this, that, and that, that about Jordan. And at the end of the day, we all know Isaiah Thomas kind of capping about Jordan. But when he said about his competition that he wasn't chasing Jordan, no, he was ahead of Jordan. That's a fact. That Jordan was trying to chase and beat the Pistons to have the chance to, you know, win the title and beat either, you know, beat Magic because Bird had already declined in the Celtics by then. But let's talk about it. Check out our NBA Talk and Retro Hoop Series playlist. Um, hit that subscribe button, bell icon button. And that just lets you know that, you know, Isaiah kind of full of bull job. Right, and he knows that Jordan is the truth, and Jordan one of the best. Um, he said it back in the day. He said, you know, some of the things he doing in the air, and Jordan was listening. And this is when he still had hair, and you know, with Isaiah, man, he said he was shocked that he didn't know Jordan felt that way about him on the last dance. How could you not? He tried to freeze him out to All Star game. The whole situation they had. And with the rivalry and the bad boys knocking Pippen and Jordan on their butt. You know, he said that Michael said Isaiah was a fantastic player. He respected his game, but he didn't like him as a person. And Isaiah truly hated or disliked Jordan simply because he took Chicago from him. That's as simple as it can be. Simplify. Excuse me. He took Chicago from him. He simply took Chicago from him. Simply. You know, he instantly took Chicago from him. Nobody knew Michael was going to do what he did in the league. And you got to remember, Isaiah Thomas tried to try to get the Pistons and Jack McCoskey to pass him up so he can get to Chicago. And it just didn't happen. You know, and, and, and people got to understand envy and jealousy is natural traits. Some people say, I ain't never been jealous of nobody or... I ain't never did this to nobody. That's a lie. Those are all natural traits that human have. Now, you can take jealousy into hating. Or when I see people doing stuff, and I'm like, man, that motivated me. Some people turn jealousy into hatred. They're two different things. To be a player hater, excuse me, when you, your boy said, oh, I got this new Benz, you know. Nigga, that's a 2019. You know, if you was doing it big, you would have a 20. That's being a hater, being jealous is, Man, he really out here got the 2019. Man, dude, oh man. I'm bullshitting out here, man. I wish I could have that. That's just being jealous. Like, man, damn, I wish. Man, it, it got this. But hatred is like diminishing what he's done. And basically, Isaiah's trying to diminish what Jordan was. And that's okay. Some rivalries never die, some rivalries go beyond the field, beyond the court. But we can go back in history, thanks to YouTube and the internet, and we can see that Isaiah Thomas said Michael Jordan was the truth. And we already knew that. You know, but does that change his opinion about chasing Jordan? No. How I chase you, I'm the leader. Like Rakim said, follow the leader and I drug him. He drugged Jordan for years. When Jordan got over the hump, it was a wrap. Isaiah, after that, hurt his wrist, blew his Achilles out. And, and, and that was simply that, but... To be honest, Isaiah paved the way for Jordan. And I think Jordan respects Isaiah Thomas. He respects his game. But when people say Isaiah this, so is Jordan. Jordan is a huge a-hole. Jordan is hella arrogant. He ain't perfect. Jordan said Republicans buy sneakers too, and that's cool. I don't want to be a role model. And I respect that. I, I, res I respect Michael Jordan for that. And he pulled a whole bunch of Punk moves too in his career. You know? But he has a right to feel some type of way about Isaiah Thomas. And Isaiah Thomas has a right to feel some type of way about Michael Jordan. Because people gloss over what, what Isaiah accomplished in his league. They gloss over it. And just think it's just Magic Bird and Jordan. No. Nah. He was the bridge from Magic and Bird to Jordan. He, he beat Magic and Bird for Michael Jordan to be able to Win championships. For him to be able to do that, he didn't destroy my Magic Johnson is a top 10. I mean, uh, Isaiah is a top 10 player of all time. The only reason people rank Magic above him 
is simply because Magic's a nice guy. And pretty much that's it. That and he played in a, in a bigger market. Game for you know, attribute for attribute, Isaiah was a better player. If you give Isaiah Thomas Kareem Abdul Jabbar, he won't be no four and five and four in the NBA Finals. Him and him and Kareem, at, at worst, I'm gonna say they probably seven and two in finals. They probably don't even lose, to be honest. But it is what it is. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all my social media links in the description. Uh, appreciate it. You want to make a donation? Cash app CJ Good three one three. PayPal link in the description. Other than that, hey man, just keep sharing the video. Follow us on Sportscaster. That link's in the description. Appreciate the love, support. We go.